Good morning, friends. I thank every one of you for being here with us today. I'm pleased to welcome students from all across the nation. I'm Professor Anupam Samantre, your event host, moderator, and voice. Let me take you through the process of how we will conduct this webinar today. Our guest will address the batch for 90 minutes. First 80 minutes will be the knowledge sharing, and last 10 minutes would be the question and answer session. Students are encouraged to put their relevant thoughts to the topic and ask questions in the chat box only. COVID-19 anxiety is a big issue for everyone around us. Today, Ms. Andrila Ghosh, our guest speaker, will provide us with the tips and techniques to overcome it. Students must adapt to the new normal and deal with uncertainty. Ma'am is an MBA in marketing, an experienced professional in training and sales in various MNCs for over 23 years with hands-on experience in direct selling industry. Her role has been primarily in keeping the sales force of her organization motivated through her training capsules and has helped people convert their dreams into reality. Transforming people's lives has been an integral part of her work and she has managed to take it at a personal level ever since the pandemic broke out. She decided to live her own dreams and started her entrepreneurial journey last year along with a path to help people build their dreams. Ma'am has bagged many awards towards introducing innovative ways of business. Her stints in Oriflame, Avon, Tupperware, and AMC has been very productive. Now, I request Ma'am to take over. Ma'am, please. Thank you so much, Professor Anupam, for such a warm uh, welcome. And uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity for presenting a very early issue today, which is uh, anxiety related to COVID. So good morning, everybody, and welcome to the session. And all of you know that I'm going to talk about uh, how to beat the anxiety related to COVID. I want to make this presentation as fruitful and beneficial to all of you, but uh, that will remain incomplete if you do not interact through the chat box, as Anupam sir has already shared. So uh, to understand COVID anxiety, uh, you know, we have to first uh, understand what anxiety is all about. Anxiety has been there much before COVID came into our lives, and I'm sure you would agree with it. So anxiety is a normal reaction to uncertainty and things that may harm us. We are very, very fearful of the future, and that's why anxiety starts creeping up, uh, you know, in our mind and our body. For many, many of us, as we all know, the coronavirus and the COVID-19 illness make for a very uncertain future. People worry about their own health and the health of their near and dear ones here or staying abroad. People may also have a lot of studies or work, their finances. We know how uh, the economy has gone down in the last one year. Their ability to part, uh, take part in important community and social events. We have really forgotten in the last one and a half years what it is to participate in a social event or a religious gathering and any other important parts of our lives. People who already had experienced anxiety before COVID have seen this worsening during the COVID times. You know, I would like to ask you a question and you can always uh, give your answers on the chat box. What are the thoughts or feelings uh, and reactions have you seen in yourself and on others during the pandemic times in the last one year and three months? So if you want me to repeat the question, what are the feelings, reactions, and thoughts that you have seen in yourself or in anybody else during times, more so in the pandemic times, because a lot of things have really gone up, our reactions have gone up, our feelings have gone up. So I would uh, invite you to please write your feelings on the chat box as what have you observed during the COVID times. Okay, let me give you a cue. A lot of people are feeling stuck at home. Some people are irritable. So I have given you two cues. Uh, taking these cues on, I would like you to put your responses on the chat box, please. All right, I'll move on to the next uh, slide because I haven't got any responses. Maybe over a period of this session, you will be more open to, uh, uh, you know, give your responses and it will benefit you if you put in your responses. 
So we had the survey with 10 different institutes, MBA institutes, where the students had to say this to the question that we asked. And the question was, what thoughts, feelings, and reactions have you felt or seen in others or in yourself during the pandemic times? So many people have felt very stressed and overwhelmed because of the situation. A lot of people are going through anxiety, worry and fear, overthinking, you know, what will happen to me, happen to my family if I come down with COVID. And a lot of people have actually, uh, you know, experienced it. Racing thoughts. That means, you know, when we go through too many thoughts at the same time, that is called racing thoughts. The reality may be totally different from what our thoughts are, but the thoughts actually become things. If you have gone through laws of attraction, which we will be talking during the session, that's a very interesting law. Uh, the more we think about something, the more we are fearful about something, it becomes a reality. So it's always said, keep your thoughts very, very positive. A lot of people have been sad for no reason uh, and there could be valid reason because they are not able to go out, not able to meet friends, loss of interest in usual enjoyable activities, even playing chess or Ludo or any any indoor games which they used to feel very good about and enjoy doing are uh, not taking so much interest in doing the same things that they used to enjoy before. Irritability and anger have been the most dominant in this one and a half years of the pandemic. Uh, feeling helpless or stuck at home, uh, we all have been doing that. Difficulty concentrating or even sleeping. Yeah, people are uh, going through lack of sleep or their sleep cycle has, uh, you know, uh, has absolutely become different from what it was before and feeling disconnected from others. We are very social. We like to meet people, which we have been doing virtually, but the virtual platform became so dominant only after I think uh, the pandemic struck uh, all of us. My next question where I would like you, all of you to participate is, uh, what do you miss about the pre-pandemic days? I'm sure you must be missing on a lot of things. You know, you feel that you are missing out. There uh, is also a fear of missing out. People are missing out on certain things that you, they used to enjoy doing before the pre-pandemic days. Would you please be kind enough to use the chat box and write your responses? What is it that you miss, uh, you know, from the pre-pandemic days? Anybody can answer. All right, I will move on to the next slide. Uh, so uh, again, when we did the survey, so all the slides that I have put together, they have come from different uh, institutes, MBA institutes, the thoughts of the students we have penned down through this presentation. So let's see what students like you felt. What is it that they missed out on? So they missed out on offline classes. Okay, because everybody wants to be present in a class and not, uh, you know, go by the virtual uh, means or the online classes, which has become the norm, the new normal, as uh, Anupam sir uh, said in the beginning. Meeting classmates and professors, we are very social. So we always like to meet people in person rather than meet, meet them virtually. Meeting friends. Gym and dance classes. Uh, let's have some responses from you. I have uh, mentioned gym and dance classes. This has come from the institute students, different uh, students of the institutes. What is it that you have been doing earlier which you are missing? Any sports or games or any outdoor activity or any hobby? Please use the chat box and put your responses. All right, so maybe, uh, you know, your answers are as common as this, gym and dance classes. Do we have some responses? We don't. All right, uh, gatherings during festivals and special occasions. People have even mentioned dressing up, you know, the way they used to dress up earlier. Uh, family outings, picnics or dining out. Many, many people mentioned travel and vacations that they miss 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 uh, miss out on uh, something that they have uh, been putting in their calendar every 3 to 4 months they have been now missing out on traveling so they are definitely feeling stuck 
going to the theaters and movies something which was very normal you know something which we would not have given a thought second thought um something which is really far fetched i'm sure you would agree and of course um uh, you know sleep uh, sleep the sleep pattern has now uh, become very the cycle has become very different from what it was earlier many people are uh, suffering from sleeplessness many people are uh, suffering from oversleep so sleep pattern has definitely affected because of the pandemic so did we all take all the above for granted what do you think you can write yes or no do you think we took the pre pandemic days for granted i would urge all of you to shed your inhibition there is nothing wrong or right if you write on the chat box this will only make me feel better uh, you know in terms of the responses being common otherwise i would not know what you are thinking because i cannot read minds if i don't see faces all right moving to the next slide so before i move to the next slide i will keep trying so that i get your responses i will ask you a question what would you do to take care of your health we are shifting and changing gears here so what is it that you would do to take care of your health before and even during the pandemic times please use the chat box and write your responses we'll give you a minute i'm sure you take care of your health in some way or the other how many people do we have in the room many people right so you would be having uh, taking care of your health in some way or the other there is nothing wrong or right all right so uh, eating healthy food uh, yoga and proper workout get enough sleep uh, you know i'm not surprised that your students are saying this because i ebm is very very conscious about health so whenever i have conducted sessions with your students the health factor comes up as a primary thing for all of them uh, sorry i have not been able to read the chat chat box and that's why i was uh, not able to see your responses thank you so much i think there are some more responses coming in anupam sir be in diet exercises daily eating fruits yes uh uh home gym playing playing football okay swimming that's very good we can't swim now but yes of course you have done this great so thank you so much uh, for uh, answering these uh, the question because it's very very important for me to know where we are heading with the session so you all are very very health conscious and i think um uh, you know uh, people somebody uh, has been okay, so, somebody yes. has been very truthful throwing all junk food out of the fridge okay lovely that's very nice i'm really really glad to hear this and uh, let's see whether you know your responses match with the ones uh, where we have conducted the survey uh, it's very similar to what you have thought but it's very nice to see that you all are very very uh, health conscious people uh, and i think the pandemic times have made us more health conscious because we really do not fall, want to fall ill during this time uh, i have seen people sneezing and coughing and getting very worried and uh, you know suffering from anxiety so uh, let's see what others had to say and let's see whether the responses match but no i am glad to share that your responses are far more that than what you will get to see in my next slide all right uh, most of you have uh, uh, written uh, eat healthy and nutrition food somebody has actually junked the junk food that's great exercise has been a part of your life uh, drinking adequate amount of water is also very very important to take care of your health uh, eat several small meals i think detoxify has become a way of life these days detoxification boosters if i ask you i think you will have more uh, immunity boosters in your uh, in your kitty than i would have uh, uh, right say junk no to junk food and say no to habits that harm our health and sleep well sleeping is again which is very very important uh, for all of us all right so let me ask you another question i did not get too many responses from other places see what responses you have here uh now the way we take care of our health do you think it's important to take care of our mental health as well if yes 
I will go slow on this question. What do you do to feed your mental health with? You are doing so much for your physical health. But what is it that you really do to take care of your mental health? Uh, I would like to see your responses on the chat box, please. What do you do to feed your men mental health with the way you feed your physical health? Put your thinking caps on. Or if you haven't taken any any uh, you know measures to take care of your mental health, you can write, we have done nothing. That's also okay. That's a very honest answer. Attaining peace of mind in daily life, great. Spending time with parents. Meditation in the morning and rejuvenating in the evening, great. That's a great answer. Meditation and talking to close ones. It's very, very important to talk to close ones and keeping the gates of communication open with close ones, whether they are near or far physically. Keeping ourselves calm. How do you keep yourself, uh, yourself calm? How do you keep yourself calm? Diary writing, journaling, that's very good to note down my thoughts and clear mind. That's, that's a gr great response. Playing football, if you are able to play football, I'm very happy for you. Self-talk, uh, so what kind of self-talk do you do? Self-talk, right? What kind of self-talk do you do? So meditation, a lot of people are saying meditation. Planting trees, that's very good. What kind of self-talk do you do? There's another question which was not on my mind, but now it just triggered with your answers. Thanks for your responses. Meditation and talking to friends and family. Somebody wrote self-talk. What kind of self-talk? Gardening, which removes tension. Watching movies. Great. What kind of movies do you watch? Listening to music and meditation. I'm waiting for more responses. Uh, talk with friends who can understand us. Very important time with uh, with the work which I love to do right do what you love yeah keeping busy to avoid overthinking great that's great thank you so much for your responses any more coming in so I think you know this is this is coming more from our side um, uh, thanks for your responses somebody else is writing all type of movies horror comedy all kind of while uh, well while you watch horror movies, maybe you can handle horror movies, but it's best to avoid horror movies for people who are scared of it. So if you can handle great, if you can't, um, then you know you should stay away from people who get anxious after watching a horror movie. Uh, self-talk, somebody writes self-talk, anything previous, any and analyzing previous endeavors, keep motivating myself helps in being sane. Great. That's a great answer. Self-talk has to be positive self-talk. We will talk about this a little more in a while. Uh, somebody said cooking. Yes, cooking has been a passion for a lot of people who have not even cooked before. I see a lot of bloggers, uh, you know, uh, you know, cooking bloggers uh, who never used to cook before, but have become great cooks uh, during the pandemic times uh, in order to take care of themselves. Great, thank you so much for your responses. That gives a lot of energy to the session, I would say. Uh, what should, uh, okay, so what, what, is, what is it that you have been uh, feeding your mental health with? You have uh, uh, given us a lot of responses. So let's see how better can you, can you make this for yourself. Start the day with a positive affirmation. Uh, how many of you do it? If you do it, just write that I do it. Today is going to be a great day or today is going to be the best day of my life. I will have all my tasks completed today. So I do this because sometimes I see that, you know, there's too much of tasks that are there in my routine. And sometimes I feel that I have been able to only do 90%. So this is a very uh, uh, my centric kind of a thing uh, uh, so that I could have uh, could give you an example. So uh, I would urge all of you, how many people really do this? Do an affirmation every morning that today is going to be the best day of my life. Today is going to be a great day. I'll have all my tasks accomplished today. Anybody? Even if you don't do, you can write. You don't do it. It's fine. I can do it with this affirmation. Thank you so much for saying this. Thank you so much for embracing this. All right. Uh, for everybody uh, who's willing to do this, uh, start it from tomorrow. Do this 10 times. If you say to yourself, that's the reason why I asked you, what kind of self-talk do you do? Uh, and we'll talk about self
I'll talk a little more. Uh, today is going to be the best day of my life. If you say this 10 times, 10 times tomorrow, the moment you open your eyes, you will see a difference in the way your day is going to pan out. Uh, okay, so we have some more uh, responses. I yes, Somebody said, I do self-talk with the mirror. That's great. Uh, I do this. Okay, somebody says that uh, she does it. So great uh, if you are doing it. And I'm sure you're getting very positive results. For some people who have not done this before, the moment you open your eyes and just say, today is going to be the best day of my life, 10 times and feel it, uh, you know, uh, in your mind and in your body, see how your ch life or the day is going to change. And that's my guarantee to you. If you really feel it from within while you talk to yourself. All right. Okay. Now, uh, this is this is a mind game and we are going to play a mind game just in case I forget at the end of the session, just remind me somebody that we can, I can show you how powerful our mind is. So if I ask you a question, what do you think, what is more, impo uh, more powerful, your mind or your body? What would be your answer? You can, you can type in your answers in the chat box, please. If I ask you, what do you feel is more important, your mind or your body? What will be your answer? Mind, 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 mind. All right, mind. And how much time do you give in feeding your mind every day? Mind, mind is more powerful. Thank you so much for saying this and agreeing to it. Uh, how much time do you give to your mind every day in feeding your mind? Hel healthy mind lives in the healthy body. That's very well said. Healthy mind lives in a very healthy body. Great. Mind is powerful as it can give power to body. Great. Great answers coming from you students. I'm really proud of you. And thank you so much for creating so much energy within this session. Uh, mind, yes, of course. So if mind is powerful, my next question is, how much time do you give to your mind every day? We give a lot of time to our body, taking care of it by exercising, uh, by giving it good food, avoiding junk, sleep well, everything. How much time do you give to your mind every day? I agree, mind, if it is in control, the body will automatically perform. But my question is, how much time do you give to your mind every day? 20% of your time, few hours, I will not be able to gauge how many hours. So if you just say 20% of my time or 10% or 5% or 80%, I will know. Every single time when I'm about to do some work related to study, that's great. But you can now start incorporating it out of, outside your studies as well, in your daily routine in life. The amount of time in which we sleep every day. All right, okay, yeah. So that's the subconscious mind that you are trying to feed in a lot of positivity to. Anybody else? I use 24 by seven, great. If you are using 24 by seven, way to go. Yeah, so what are the smallest things uh, that have given you, that you have observed or that have given you pleasure in life? Food, I, okay, food, great, which you probably have not, uh, you know, thanked for or been grateful for. The reading, smallest things, anything else? Anything else? The smallest things that you have been really enjoying during the pandemic days. Plants growing from seed that I planted. That's a great one. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to see, uh, you know, the, the plants growing from the seed. Helping people. That's fantastic. That's really nice. I'm sure you would be helping people even before the pandemic times, but during the pandemic times, it's even more. Playing with the young ones of a family uh, reju rejuvenates oneself. They help us to enjoy the tiniest moment of life with happiness. Great. Birds chirping around. Yes, very similar to mine. I've never had the time to hear the birds chirping, but yes, now I do. Testing something incredibly delicious for the first time. Great. Nature, helping others, talking to friends and family, solving tough questions, that's great. Stand-up comedy, food and meeting my daily targets, lovely. Listening to music, wow. Uh, thank you so much for your responses. Uh, 
uh, that's uh, these are great responses coming up from all of you. Uh, transform negative self talk into positive self talk. It's very easy to judge ourselves. Uh, we do it very often, right? So I'll give you one minute uh, before I ask you a question. But let me just finish this. Uh, I'm so bad at uh, at this. Becomes once I get more practice, I'll I'll uh, get way better. So what happens is we do self talk and it comes very easily uh, by judging us. A lot of people do self talk, which is very positive, and I'm I, I'm really happy to see that. Uh, all right, somebody's saying helping people, drawing, listening to music, great. So uh, so in self talk, many a times we end up judging ourselves. Am I right? All right. Uh, you don't have to uh, respond to this, but uh, we'll do a one minute exercise where I'll uh, give you a question where you have to judge yourself, right? Um, uh, bring out some positive traits of yours and bring out some traits of yours which need improvement. Now, if my question is not clear, I'm repeating it, but yet if you think my question is not clear, I'll repeat it again. Uh, many a times we end up judging us ourselves. So what are the traits which are really good in you and what are the traits which really need improvement. So write down those traits. You don't have to share it with us here. I'll give you exactly one minute for this exercise. And once this exercise is over, just write how many of your traits are positive and how many of your traits need improvement. So uh, take traits of yours, uh, positive traits and traits which need improvement. And tell me what, how many of your traits are positive and how many of your traits are, uh, sorry, need improvement? I think my question is pretty clear. And I'll give you exactly one minute for this. And uh, you can just keep on writing those numbers. So if I have three traits which are positive, I'll, I'll put it as three comma two, two need improvement or two comma three. Yeah, so positive first and something that needs improvement second. So if you finish before one minute, you can put, put in your numbers right away. Your positive traits, just the number and how many traits of yours need improvement. So we will not take all. We will just take how much ever we can finish within a minute. Just the number. Okay. Four, two, three, three. Okay. It's equal. Three, three. Four positive and two negative. Great. Uh, good trait seven, improvement three, four, three, positive, smart capability having, okay, fine. All right, three, four. So three positive and four improvement, three, three. Anybody else? Three, three. So three positive and three need improvement. All right, thank you for your responses. See how we have judged ourselves. Somebody have equal numbers, three, three. Somebody have more um, uh, areas to be improved upon. That's where we have to change our self-talk into not highlighting our traits which need improvement. But if you can just change your affirmation into, I'm so bad at this. Please do not stop saying that I'm so bad at this. You know, if I have to ask you, uh, just pinpoint, uh, you know, one of your friend's traits which need improvement, you will probably hesitate in front of your friend. But if I ask you, pinpoint certain traits which need improvement, you will say very quickly in a jiffy, you will not take so much time. So let's convert our self-talk, which is not so positive, into something which can be positive. So let's convert it into, once I get more practice, I'll be way better at this. So, uh, uh, you know, let me take my example. When I, I was a student like you, I always struggled or, you know, I found it very challenging to meet my deadlines because I, I, I would think there are too many deadlines I have to meet and uh, what do I do? So I always, you know, had to put in so many extra hours to do this. You know why I always had this struggle or challenge? Because I always gave myself that affirmation, you know, I can never complete my deadlines on time. I always overshoot my deadline, though I put all my hard work. 
but all my hard work went down the drain because i was in, instead of saying you know i will try and better my deadline uh, you know the projects i will better the speed of my projects instead i would say oh i'm not good at it the moment i say i'm not at go good at it i'm actually bringing a lot of anxiety within my body and my mind so let's keep our mind positive by saying once i get more practice i'll be better at this rather than saying i'm really bad at it you know okay i i have a challenge i need improvement that's also a positive affirmation i need improvement and i'll get there very soon all right do you agree all right next thing is visualization i don't know how many of you practice this uh, vis visualize positive events what is that one thing uh, that you have a burning desire for you know something that you really really want to do in life give that desire a lot of energy and positive energy so ask with clarity what you really want from the universe ask with clarity that's called law of attraction and believe that it is already true so whatever your ambition believe that you've already achieved it and try to receive it with open arms and there will be so many avenues which will actually open out for you once you start doing this kind of self talk that you've already already achieved what you've wanted to achieve all this while you know so you will actually try and walk the talk of somebody who you idolize right so start doing that from today you will see where your future is going to take you by taking just 5 minutes each morning to visualize success you train your brain to accept that you are capable of handling success so make it your daily mantra that success is yours and you shall achieve it and visualize it as if you've already achieved success find very positive friends mentors and coworkers so somebody said i really like helping people who are in need it's always good to help people who are in need emotionally but see and check and tune into yourself whether you can actually do it only if you're capable of doing it please go for it by all means if you are not don't get into that whole cycle of taking somebody a else's pain and agony into your mind and body i hope uh, you know this is clear to all of you uh, so by taking just 5 minutes each morning to visualize success you train your brain to accept that you are capable of handling success so this is not only related to success this is any kind of success a small thing Uh, in a daily day to day life you can actually attract success by visualizing that it has already happened find positive friends mentors and coworkers uh, keep your cycle always positive uh, you will always see that you know if you have experienced a very positive discussion you come out of the discussion very energized and very uh, you know very positive and very light but if you are listening to somebody who's always complaining or if your circle is such that people are com on a complaining mode rather than a productive mode then you'll feel very heavy uh, after the discussion is over i'm sure you will agree with me uh, reduce uh, information on the pandemic this is something that i keep on you know i hold a lot of uh, personal counseling sessions and why uh, anxiety is the biggest biggest cause is we go to bed by looking at the corona virus numbers covid numbers you know the spike in numbers you know somebody a relative getting very badly affected by the pandemic yeah so if you if you sleep somebody just said that you know during my sleep i do affirmation so uh, you know what happens is you you are giving a negative affirmation to your mind and body because subconsciously you're thinking of of something negative a lot of things are happening many people are just just kind of forwarding messages without thinking whether we should forward those messages or not you know somebody needs plasma somebody needs a hospital bed somebody needs oxygen uh unless and until somebody shouts out for help i don't think these are really important now i have given you some examples i'm sure there are many many examples which bog you down some video which is being forwarded which is very depressing you know not always re related to the uh, to the virus or the pandemic but something else 
why why spread contents which don't don't even relate to us uh reduce tv time or web series that could have disturbing content if you can handle disturbing content it's fine but the person you are actually watching this disturbing content with may not be uh, in a position to handle this kind of uh, disturbing content so why not keep yourself away from the news which kind of Uh, creates anxiety in you or any kind of content uh, in web web series uh, a violent uh, content or something a horror movie uh, keep away from that you know i mean i i would say even otherwise keep away from that because uh, you think about it for the longest time in your subconscious mind now stop for forwarding texts on coronavirus or anything negative around this time because there's also all, uh, there's a lot of anxiety uh, you know uh, these days meditate even if it is for one or two mi- uh, two minutes do you meditate on a regular basis you can put yes or no if you mm-hmm. if you if you meditate great and if you want to know a meditative method uh, we can show you at the end of the session i always uh, you know yes you do somebody said yes i meditate i meditate okay so to the at the cost of repeating myself i would say start your day with a positive of affirmation today is going to be the great day of my life start practicing it for tomorrow from tomorrow okay some quite a few people say is are saying that uh, you know you meditate which is great because people students your age meditating is a wonderful thing this will hold you in very good stead all right moving to the next uh, slide what are the strategies uh, that you can actually apply in your day to day life to take care of stress you have mentioned so i think i will just straight away go to the next slide what are the strategies we can adopt or embrace all right learn how to protect yourself and others from covid uh, 19 most of you have already written this as a response uh, uh, in the chat box maintain your day to day activities and routine as much as possible you know maintain your routine as if we were never stuck at home we never saw a lockdown as if the pandemic never happened how many people are doing this sticking to the old routine getting ready early in the morning doing your chores in the morning exercising having healthy detoxifying drink or anything that you were doing before the pandemic how many how many people are still in the same routine as the pre pandemic days dressing up for sessions uh how many of you have a desk or a small area dedicated to to yourself for your daily classes somebody was very very uh, you know honest to uh, accept and uh, 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 you know because he said that you know i've become very lazy a lot of people have actually become very lazy during the pandemic times kind of have better routines it has given uh, us more time than before all right somebody says that the uh, routine is even better now uh, with the pandemic times because it's given more time okay all right no <laughs> because of this lockdown not able to do many things yeah correct because of the lockdown not able to do many things but if you are you know dedicating your time i procrastinate my task no all right um all right so uh, because of the lockdown uh, many people have become lax many many people i think i would say 80% of people have become very lax okay uh, you know we have extra time but that t- time is not extra ever all right because some t- sometimes we even uh, struggle to 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 uh, pack in all our routine within a day trying to get back to the pre pandemic routine very good if you are trying to do that adjusting and adapting i would say try to get back to the routine as soon as possible because this pandemic is not going to last forever so uh, you know you getting back into the pre pandemic routine will then become very very 
challenging if you do not start doing it from now uh, very honest answers coming in saying that we have not really maintained the routine but i am sure you would agree that if you do not go back to the pre pandemic times routine you will find it very very challenging getting back to the routine once all this ordeal is over it will take some time uh, to be exact in some ways as before yes of course it will definitely i agree with you so try out a new hobby or skill a lot of people have picked up cooking as a new hobby or book reading or learning a new language or playing a new instrument if you have tried a new instrument or a new hobby you can just pen, uh, write down on the chat box please or maybe old uh, you rekindled old hobbies which you did not have time for during the pre pandemic times all right uh, so uh, you can still uh, you know write down on the chat box if you feel like uh, sharing something physical distancing does not uh, mean social disconnection okay somebody is writing learning morse code is fun oh that's 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 a different one altogether that's quite unique that i have come across thank you for sharing learning more morse code lovely okay so try out a new hobby uh, a lot of people mm -hmm. have taken uh, cooking as a new hobby um a lot of people are playing a new instrument altogether uh, learning a new language will will actually see you in very good stead uh, in the coming times and years listening to music if you know a person uh, suffering from anxiety play some high beat music or chanting many people like chanting somebody is somebody says that somebody has been cooking or at cooking a lot of people uh, cooking starting playing ludo with my mom hobby that's very very nice even i have done that and i had not played ludo after my childhood i think many many after many years okay making arts that's fantastic so rekindling that something that 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 you have been very passionate about in your childhood days all right share quick and easy recipes amongst friends cleaning house lovely that's very nice thank you a lot of people have started cleaning the house themselves rather than depending on somebody else uh, start a virtual book or a movie club that's very enriching and uh, you know uh, you know it's a, it's a it's a very enjoyable experience somebody said making crafts good schedule a workout together over video chat this really helps if you really schedule a workout together with your friends uh, you know you will do Uh, you know it will all happen in 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 fun you know and you will not really miss miss those um, the pre pandemic days of course virtually we have become so much stronger and better and i'm sure you would agree follow attitude of gratitude and appreciation how many times do you spend during the day in being thankful and grateful for what you have a lot of people have lo lost a lot of things in life you know i don't even want to you know mention those you know we have seen people have gone through very very tough and challenging times and i'm sure many people listening to me at this point in time also have gone through huge challenges during this time yet we have certain things to be thankful for in our lives so life is beautiful if we want to look at the beauty of it we will definitely find uh, all right so uh, my 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 last question to all of you uh what is what is what are the positives of this pandemic do you think there are any positives and if there are positives what are the positives of pandemic you can say anything that comes to your mind without any inhibition a lot of people have gone through a lot of anxiety yet we have a lot of positives uh to pinpoint or to to choose from and that have still been a part of our life importance of family thank you so much for being so honest we had taken our family for granted somewhere i think you know the bonding has been great whether all the family members have are together today or they are you know spread over different cities and countries there's still a lot of bonding because of the pandemic spending more time with family self exploration self exploration a lot of people who didn't know that they were capable of so many things are now doing such wonderful things so they are actually exploring themselves that's a lovely word 
we get to spend time with family anything else apart from family yes of course family bonding has become very strong these days positive brought the family together okay we learned hygiene we learned to do all the household work ourselves and you've also enjoyed it doing it together you know um so dividing the tasks between the family i'm sure started valuing ourselves family earth and oxygen that's a wonderful answer we have actually something that was so abundant in our lives you know uh, have become a part uh, you know uh, you know oxygen was something which was uh, which people had dearth of just uh, just a few weeks back and suddenly we started uh, thinking how important oxygen was in our lives and we are grateful for it uh came more close to my family and able to communicate with them now clearly great that's that's a great answer every coin has two sides and the positive sides are managing things all together without wastage of time not only wastage of time we have seen a lot of food being wasted earlier before the pre pandemic times uh, during the pre pandemic times but we have stopped wastage in every possible sense thanks for your answer anybody else uh, I, i always believe that with difficult times comes an opportunity and let's see the opportunities people actually got during the uh, the pandemic times also it has shown the need of medical services more than weapons absolutely very good answer uh, became more concerned about health trying to enjoy every second of life yes that's that's a great answer and let it let it flow like this forever you know because the pandemic has taught us something that we will probably you know keep keep very close to our hearts going forward all right let's see what uh, you know all of you have spoken about family bonding with family uh, it's come in a very very great manner staying connected through the virtual platform i think today you and i can be connected though you are from different parts of the country uh, but we are still together in it so the virtual platform has become very very important these days somebody is still writing society is benefiting from less air pollution and fewer traffic accidents great that's a great answer thank you appreciating the things we already have which probably we didn't have time for uh, before the pandemic times become creative and innovative i would like to mention a few startups uh, which were actually um, uh, started by students uh, your age uh something uh, that is very close to my heart i'm not sure whether you are aware of the startup startup called help now 24 by 7 help now is a startup by iit mumbai students uh, now two students started it in uh, on may may uh, 2020 when they were traveling and they saw that an ambulance was stuck on the road and uh, because it, it it broke down in the middle of uh, the road and there was a patient mm -hmm. uh, whose family was crying out for help but because of lockdown uh, they could not and because of uh, too many people uh, uh, you know suffering from the virus they could not uh, get an ambulance mm -hmm. in time mm -hmm. and that was a day when these two students decided that they will they will form a company where they will help people who are in need of ambul an ambulance and uh, there is a there is a timeline that they have given to them, themselves that within so many minutes the ambulance will definitely be the, at their doorstep can you imagine an 18 19 20 year old thinking like this you know that's fantastic and today the the organization has become very big you can actually check uh, on instagram uh, it's ambulance service it's called help now 24 by 7 so see uh, in 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 these very difficult times there is a company being run by students uh, as uh, uh, you know as young as you this is commendable then there's another company uh, uh, which came out uh, came about not run by students but during this time it has come about called dozy uh it's a smart device that helps in diagnosis of preliminary illness and reduces the time spent in taking decisions to visit the hospitals what we would do by visiting hospitals and then go for all these tests to check what's happening in our body this already does this small device already does so this came about because people were very apprehensive going to the uh to the hospitals uh, because of the virus 
then there is one uh, of course you know about this many such companies have come about uh, corona oven uh, oven sorry which uses uvc rays to disinfect various objects and i think a lot of people already have this sanitizer ca- companies new companies sanitizing companies have come up house sanitization uh, you know office sanitization companies have come up okay somebody is writing something we learned the importance of ayurvedic medicines yes uh, to to keep our immunity high so uh, so in every dark moment i think if we want to see an opportunity we will definitely see an opportunity a lot of people have gone through anxiety and there is a method called tapping uh, if you take recourse to tapping you know right from a very early age or it's also called emotional freedom technique you can uh, you can really get over uh, the anxiety and everybody has anxiety it's only the intensity varies from person to person some people uh, get very anxious anxious you know under the same circumstances where the other person is a little calmer and you know less anxious so you all have actually become very creative and innovative and discovered certain interests uh, of your liking uh, and you have spent a lot of time building yourselves which is Uh, you know a lot of students i know who have taken up extra courses um, you know to 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 build themselves during this time uh, you have already written about improvements that we have seen in environment and less number of accidents i will definitely add this to the slide so thank you so much for all your responses uh, to the at the cost of repeating myself i would always say help somebody emotionally only if you are emotionally equipped to help somebody and if you think somebody needs help put them across to some somebody who is a counselor or who can handle the the challenges of uh, of your friend or a family member better than you all right so i will um, uh, sorry i will actually take you through a story uh, we all are uh, you know a lot of people have said that i spent my time helping somebody uh, and i think that's something which is very close to my heart and i really like that response so when it comes to helping somebody and hearing somebody's problems uh, let's see uh, let's go through a story which i would like to read out for you uh, so this is a starfish story and many of you may have uh, um um may know about this story so one day a man was walking along the beach when he noticed a boy picking up starfish and throwing them into the ocean uh approaching the boy he asked excuse me but what are you doing the boy replied throwing starfish back into the ocean the sun is rising and tide is going out if i don't throw them back they'll die the man laughed to himself and said but there's too many starfish on the beach you can't possibly make a difference After listening politely, uh, the boy bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw it into the ocean. Then, turning to the man, he said, "I made a difference to that one." So, never think your help is a small one. Even if you can help one person, please go ahead and do that. Uh, I would. Now, like uh, I would like to ask one question. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. This is completely pertaining to my own uh, yes. thing or um, sure. some of my friends mm-hmm. like a uh, uh, lot of people uh, means i'm not talking about a typical uh, high school aspirant or yes. a student who's in but uh, in normal for anybody for that matter a uh, lot of students a uh, lot of people uh, what has happened is uh, you know they have lost their jobs and yes. uh, uh, they didn't have anything to do they were looking yes. for options and probably some have picked up new job or something but uh, they would have compromised during this pandemic time yes. and they yes, would have yes. uh, probably you know not got something which is uh, you know exactly right for them which they think uh, but uh, how should they take it forward means uh, yes. Yes. there there are instances that you know they might uh, get into a juncture where after some time they might get into uh, they might get a offer or something or they might not so how do they deal with the choice which they made during this time yes that's a very very valid question and mm-hmm. i have doing mm-hmm. i have been doing a lot of counseling for people mm-hmm. who have lost their jobs and who have got a, a you know cut in their salary you know some people have even seen a 40% cut right so for people who have got a 40% cut my first question to them is are you happy that you didn't lose your job 
<laughs> All right. So you know, so our mind is very powerful, sir. Our mind is extremely powerful. So what we feed our mind with, our mind takes that exactly. Right. So a lot of people say, no, but I used to get hundred percent, but I am capable. But this and but that. So what are we doing is we are actually feeding the mind with a uh, you know a, a question mark which is pointed towards ourselves. Right now, um, pan the pandemic is not going to last forever. That's one thing that we have to feed our mind with. There's one more question coming up, which is also very relevant. I will go through it a, uh, a little later. So one is we will have to keep on feeding our mind. If you ask them, sir, I can write it down on a piece of paper and give it to you, saying that they say, "Ab to main kisi kam ki rahi nahi, aur kisi kam ka raha nahi." अब तो मेरे 40 परसेंट हो गए अब अगर मैंने मेरी जॉब चली गई तो मुझे कोई और जॉब मिलेगी भी नहीं राइट दैट वाज इन द प्री पैंडेमिक टाइम्स वेयर पीपल यूज्ड टू आस्क क्वेश्चंस व्हाई व्हाई डिड यू हैव टू लीव योर जॉब व्हाट अंडर व्हाट सरकमस्टेंसेस because of pandemic nobody is going to ask him questions even if he travel starts he or she starts applying after four or five months so this is the time to build oneself to stay calm through meditation and i think tapping uh, eft is a very strong way of uh, processing success for the future what happens is the moment you know if i have to keep uh, myself into your friend's shoes or somebody you know first thing that will come to my mind is oh my god i will not be able to pay my son's uh, education fee which is very high Okay. Oh my God! I will not be able to uh, afford the luxuries I used to before the pre-pandemic times, right? Uh, even the essentials, the bare essentials. You know, when we buy those, something which was more towards turning towards luxury, we have cut down on that. Great. But this is a phase, and please tell them to tell themselves this phase too shall pass. Offline, I will discuss something. Um, uh, you know, there there are many many counselling sessions that I have done with these of organisations. Uh, some who have taken a fifty percent cut, some who have taken a sixty percent cut, some who do not have jobs, and we actually made a strategy. What can they do now? keeping their family members as a partner to a entrepreneur business so the person says my mindset is not to be an entrepreneur and you are asking me to be an entrepreneur but what is the best that we can do in this situation and today uh, you know in just one year you know uh, last 2020 april he was he, he didn't have a job and today he is actually pulled in a uh, a home bakery and a, a home cooked food business uh, which has become extremely famous in mumbai i don't want to mention the name uh, but this has happened with the family members uh, vp finance has turned into an entrepreneur and today he is busy giving interviews to uh, to to the different uh, you know uh, uh, print media and other media and he's so happy and he says i have found success in the deepest darkest moments of my time which i never could imagine i would do i didn't know i had this potential the only thing is we restrict ourselves because we think we are not good enough we have lost our job so we are not good enough so very well said uh, that you know uh, even if you have lost a chance or uh, you are deprived of something in a uh, difficult situation uh there is always a possibility there is always a chance that you know you can build back uh, you can be more resilient and you never know you might be uh, you know shining brighter in something else which you never expected before so yeah. so if that answers your question keep the mind very calm one through meditation keep the mind positive uh, a lot of people have got this virus only because they were scared i will get it i will get it i will get it and they were super super safe you know i'm not saying everybody got it like that but i'm just saying many people because they were anxious you know so in my mind if i think oh my god this will happen the fear will act actually become a reality uh, unfortunately many people got it you know having a lot of you know and many people uh, you know fought a very brave battle also you know but uh, our mind has to be conditioned in a way that we will be able to win every war that comes our way yeah that's the only thing that i'll say but yes offline we can discuss this a little more 
Uh, there was one more question. I think Anupam sir, you will have to read it out for me because uh, yes, of the disruption. I I have lost the chance. There was okay. a question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, so to, to, to you, uh, sir, uh, have I been able to answer the question? Yes, ma'am. The yes, fear, ma the fear has to be converted into a very positive affirmation that yes. better days are coming. Coming and I will definitely get there very soon. Yeah, right. and you will see how things turn just by the thought. Thought become things. And if he he if they have spare time, ask them to read the book, The Secret. Yeah. But, but so uh, if you uh, yes, ma'am, I'll just read the question. Thank you. Yes, uh, yes. One is how to keep our mind away from the third phase of COVID. Ah, very good question. Very good question. How to keep our mind away from third phase of COVID? So hygiene, you are taking care of health. You are taking care of. Uh, don't you think you have to now take care of your mind in a big way? You know. So uh, uh, what I do, I will. I can tell you. Uh, so I. Uh, I give a lot of positive energy to the food I eat. If I meet somebody, I give a lot of positive energy to the meeting that has taken place. That okay, this will only bless me with good health and good mind, body, uh, mind, uh, uh, you know, uh, mental health. Okay, so mind and body will be absolutely fine if I eat this. I will do all right things, you know, to take care of my. uh mind and body so mind is very powerful so just tell don't say that i will not have corona virus or you know say nothing nothing can affect me with the third phase and if you can and if you are eligible please take the vaccine vaccine yeah because many people are very scared of the side effects of the vaccine so there is nothing to be scared of just go ahead and take the vaccine and tell your mind i'll be fine you know i've been fine we have pulled through so long right why will not we be able to pull through the third wave and we don't even know whether there's a there's going to be a third wave we have to be prepared for sure but don't let these things affect you so much any more questions because i'll give you an option we have exactly 4 minutes so if you want to uh, do a breathing, breathing technique can we do that uh, i want a yes on the chat box if you want to do a breathing technique and this will also take care of the third wave if you if you uh, you know condition your mind very well anybody yes or then we'll do an exercise that i told you how powerful our mind is so if you can see me uh, okay meditation or we only have time for either meditation or a powerful uh, mind game mind game meditation please write okay so i think uh, so we will play the video on meditation the first video yeah so we will show you uh, a technique which will help you uh, take care of your mind and body and just do an affirmation just before the meditation okay meditation right Hope all of you are doing well. Today, I am going to share certain techniques on how to beat anxiety. For the first ten days of the lockdown period, I was very restless and anxious. But after practicing these techniques, I feel so much better, calmer, and in control of myself. Whenever we are anxious, it's evident we all know that our breath becomes very fast. and shallow so deep breathing is definitely recommended to regularize the breath and bring a lot of calm and peace i did the same thing but i will show you the technique that i practiced so when you breathe in you breathe in for the count of 4 and breathe out for the count of 6 the breathing out has to be longer than breathing in The spine has to be straight and the shoulders have to relax. Thirdly, we are actually doing belly breathing. That means the air has to go right into the stomach and we have to exhale from there. So how do you know that you are belly breathing? One palm of your hand has to be on your stomach, the other on your chest. So when you are breathing in and breathing out, your palm which is on your stomach has to expand and contract little more than the one which is resting on your chest i hope my instructions are clear when you're breathing in focus fully on the breath and focus that you're breathing in positivity calm and peace and breathing out all the toxins and negative energy so let's start uh, 
place one palm on your chest. I have the right on my chest and the left on your stomach. You should have a straight spine and relax your legs. For the count of four, inhalation. For the count of six, exhalation. You inhale all the positivity and exhale all the negative energy. So let's start. Eyes closed. And here we begin. Inhale. One, two, three, four. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four. And breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. So you can open your eyes now. You can move your hands. Did you feel the breath go right deep into your stomach? This is how we have to do it. Initially, you can just place your hands so that you know you are belly breathing. After a while, uh, practice will make you perfect and you will not need to rest your hand on your chest and your belly. This is one way of making yourself calm and peaceful. I am sure you are already feeling it. You need to do at least three or four cycles of breathing twice or thrice a day. But please make sure you haven't eaten much before doing this exercise. You should do it ideally on an empty stomach. How I remember to do this is I do it just before my meals and feel very nice and calm after doing this practice but we must make it a discipline to uh, get it into our regular routine so please do it twice to thrice a day every single day another thing that i do is i play two songs which i completely completely connect to when i'm very anxious so much so that i get deep into the song while the song is playing I could be tapping my foot, I could be singing along with it, I could be humming, but I connect the moment the song plays. So you should have at least two such songs, so when you're anxious you can play these songs. Another thing that I do is, I have two numbers on my seat dial. So if I have two people who are extremely positive uh, to fall back on if I'm very anxious. It's always good not to speak to people who are already anxious because we catch those vibrations. If we are anxious speaking to another anxious person, it will only uh, add to our anxiety. So these are the three tips that I have shared with you. One is the deep breathing. The second is play the music that you connect to instantly the moment it starts playing. The third one is have somebody on the phone book who you can speed dial when you're anxious, who will pump in a lot of positivity to you. Hope you've liked this video. I would be sharing a very unique technique with you on how to deal with anxiety in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay at home and take care of yourself. Stay calm and peaceful. Bye for now. Thank you so much, sir, for playing the video. And um, with this, uh, we all uh, we have one more question. Uh, does taking vaccine somehow provide peace of mind? Yes, of course, it provides peace of mind as well. So uh, it's again, it's a mind game. So uh, I will end by saying that thoughts become things, and your mind can be your best friend. Uh, provided you let your mind to be your best friend, but not in the negative way, please, only in the positive way. So keep your circle positive and um, always remember your mind is your biggest supporter. 
and uh, with that i end my session today and thank you so much for being participative i really enjoyed the session i hope you enjoyed it too uh, i will not be able to hand this over to uh, professor anupam without thanking uh, professor anupam uh, samantre and dr rishikesh uh, nalware because they have been hugely supportive uh, uh, for having conducted this session thank you so much and all the best for a great future and there's nothing to worry about your mind has now become very powerful we have uh, you know upgraded your your system from within uh, yeah so wish you great luck and a very very bright future thank you so much thank you ma'am thanks so much for your uh, such a lovely session ma'am we it was really insightful and we learned a lot of things i think uh, now we can look at the situation very differently and all the students also so the apprehensions which was uh, which were blocking our minds and uh, you know tightening our watertight compartments even more i think that is taken care of thanks to tan ma'am thanks a lot uh, thank you so much um, you will yes. have to uh, uh, you will have to put the uh, feedback on the feedback form uh, on the chat box itself uh, i will share the feedback link right away we will share that uh, in some time uh, in that you will have to put the feedback uh, details uh, thank you ma'am Thanks a ton. Thank you so much and all the best and have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you.